The census happens only once every 10 years, and tonight those results are in. The numbers shows Yuma County is growing, but local leaders believe the true number of people living here is even higher. 13's Luis Lopez has more. Every 10 years, the U.S. Census helps to track important data that can help to determine things like funding and congressional district lines. This time around, it's showing more people here in Yuma County, but not as many more as local leaders have predicted. Data from the census shows that since 2010, the population has gone from 195,000 to 213,000. However, that number appears inaccurate to some, and that's because there was a proposed question that would have asked census takers if they are a U.S. citizen. That question ended up not making it into the survey. However, it may have made undocumented immigrants hesitant to respond, leaving many in our region unaccounted for. Fundamentally, that's wrong. Um, because we don't care. I mean, the bottom line is we're trying to count the number of people here in our country, not the number of people that are United States citizens. Census data shows that people who identify as Latino or Hispanic make up more than 64% of residents, a number that could be higher with the addition of undocumented immigrants. In addition to some not filling out the census form, it was also held in the heart of the pandemic. That made it harder to do certain tasks that help verify numbers. And I think that's more has a lot more to do with the circumstances surrounding last year when the census was taking place. I mean, it was not a very good year to send people to level check numbers and to do those type of things. Along with the issues surrounding population numbers, the census also shed light on education. The percentage of residents 25 and older with a high school diploma came out to 73 percent. That's below the country's average of 88 percent. Representative Fernandez believes that part of the issue is that local class sizes are too big. I know that in our classrooms here in Yuma County, Yuma County, there are large classrooms. You know, there's, you know, 30, 40 kids and quality learning. We know by, by research that quality learning happens when there's a classroom of 20, 21 kids. And I, I think we need to start shrinking those class sizes. Higher education too. The census shows that just 15% of residents 25 and older have a bachelor's degree, which is just half of the nation's average of 32%. Reporting from the newsroom, I'm Luis Lopez, 13 on your side.